Okay, so um, this has got um, three parts on it. I'm going to talk about interactions, or interconnections, uh, environment and contingencies, and a lot of the, uh, the background stuff is going to be on China here. Uh, but what I want to start off with is an idea that comes from Fernand Braudel um, and others that was taken up by Pomerantz. That is that the world prior to the Industrial Revol Revolution, most people, 95% of whom are in farming communities, live in very similar circumstances. And those very similar circumstances create material kinds of demands um, that lead to various actions and activities having to do with farming. And I'm going to, we're going to talk about farming and a few other things. Um, and that is going to take us into um, an, an area that may be new for most of you. It's going to be new for Kyle too because he's got the second edition. Uh, but I want to introduce to you the idea of the nitrogen cycle and how and why that's really important in history and in world history. And if you have any biologists or chemists uh, in your schools that you might want to see if they would be interested in joining up with, you can get them to do that as well. Um, <clears throat> then we're also going to take a look at um, the Black Plague and the, uh, the, the death in uh, 1347 to 1350 as a, a, an interesting turning point. Oh, and I've got what if you take a look at these sets of documents, right, the first set um, deals with uh, biological old regime farming and the nitrogen cycle. Um, I've also got some interesting ones that will come out of that dealing with uh, species extinction and how we know about species extinction. Um, it's a pretty interesting document, starting with the document by former President James Madison. See number four? See the fourth president of the U.S.? Third? Fourth? Fourth? Um, and then we're going to deal with the, uh, with the Black Death a bit. So I've got your packet there has those. And this advancer doesn't advance, so I'm going to have to bend over every once in a while to, uh, to do this. So <clears throat> I took the concluding sl slide and put it up here uh, just to, uh, to point out to you that um, the, the kinds of documents that, that historians can use can include, we can bring in... Uh, um, a miracle grow box for students, and you'll see why that fertilizer analysis becomes interesting and important um, in world history. And here's a, uh, here's a plug for my, the, the third edition. Uh, mirror was at $28.99, uh, $29, something like that. Used to be $16. But the third edition has a stronger um, environmental narrative than even previous editions had, because the relationship that we as a species have to our environment um, in the 20th century uh, may well turn out to be the most important aspect of 20th century history than anything else. More important than the communist revolutions, more important than the collapse of the Soviet Union, more important than the women's movement, the black movement, any of these. Um, anyway, so uh, that's, that's been beefed up as well. So, um, section First, commonalities, the biological old regime, and I want, I'll explain to you what that is. Um, then we're going to take a break and do some of the, uh, the DBQ stuff with those documents. Um, then we've got the interactions, Black Death and the Great Dying, um, as similar kinds of, uh, of <clears throat> events in the world. Black Death in the middle of the 13th century, Great Dying in the Americas as a result of the uh, Columbian Exchange. Um, and then and there's uh, some documents that we'll be able to look at with regard to that as well. Um, and then I want to uh, talk about uh, contingencies and how the world got to be the way it is and focus on the voyages of the Admiral Zheng He in the 1400s. Um, and I'm going to wind up there with no, with no documents to be used for a DBQ. And I'm going to explain to you why that is. Um, and we'll get to there. Okay? So... We'll have times to, uh, to stop at various points. OK, 